So I want to briefly talk about how Moneta Shaw pretty much got the last laugh in this Neo and Crystal Smith situation. And I didn't plan on doing this video at first, but after I looked at Moneta's Instagram, I had a few thoughts and I decided to make a video to share them. So for those of you who don't know, Crystal Smith recently took to Instagram and put her husband, singer Neo, on blast for cheating on her for basically the entire duration of their marriage for the last eight years. She basically said he was sleeping around unprotected. Word on the street is that he gave her an STD, had a side baby with another woman, and they have been separated before, but they reconciled and they even had a wedding renewing their vows, but now they're separated again. So they may not even get a divorce. Who knows? Only time will tell. Because let's be honest, Crystal has been tolerating his cheating. She knew the kind of man she was dealing with since the beginning. It's well known that Neo actually cheated on Manetta, who is his ex fiance and mother of his children with Crystal when they were together. So, you know, as the saying goes, you lose them the same way you got them. Crystal, unfortunately, is like a lot of women who think they're special and can change a man, but she ended up learning the hard way and endured eight years of heartache. And mind you, when Neo and Manetta were together, he actually convinced her to get her tubes tied and told her he would get a vasectomy because he didn't want to be monogamous anymore and he also didn't want any more children, so he said. But he ended up not going through with the procedure and went on to marry and have three children with Crystal. So what he did to Manetta was very cruel. It was selfish. It was manipulative. And when women willingly get involved with men like that, it's like walking into a burning building. So to be honest, Crystal had it coming. And I think we all saw this from a mile away. And when you look at Manetta and her life in comparison, she's healed. She's moved on. And she also recently got married to a successful businessman. His name is Heath Carter and they make a very very nice couple so even though she lost a part of herself that she can't get back it appears that she did get the last laugh in this situation not saying that she or anyone else should rejoice or be happy about Crystal and Neo's marriage possibly ending but it is nice to see that after all of what Neo put Manetta through she was still able to course correct and got what appears to be a man of better quality because we see this situation a lot where these black male entertainers will get with the unambiguous black woman, make her the come up woman or a baby mama. Then they move on to the mixed race woman that they always wanted when they become famous or start making more money, marry them. And the black woman usually never really moves on, not like the man does. But in this situation, Manetta got what she always wanted, which was to be happily married. So I want to talk about the lessons I think black women can learn in this situation, because when I hear black women talking about this and other similar situations or talking about Neo or men like him, black women don't seem to believe that there is a way to pick up on what kind of man men like Neo are. When in my opinion, he was showing who he was the whole time. It's just that the women he was dealing with ignored it. Manetta ignored it and so did Crystal. And I understand that men can lie, men can manipulate and be really convincing with their bullshit. But to me, most of the time it's right in our faces, ladies. The problem is we just think that we're special and and he'll be different with us when usually that's never the case. It's like those women who have children with men who have three, four, and five baby mamas thinking they're going to be the one who makes him commit. No, he's going to do you the same way he did his other baby mamas. But you ignored the red flag of him being a serial baby daddy and you thought that you were special. Crystal thought Neo wouldn't do her like he did Manetta, perhaps because she knew that she is more of his physical type, light skin, mixed race. And that's why one clear red flag I think Manetta in particular overlooked because Neo is a colorist. He's a very loud colorist. He said publicly that he thinks light-skinned children look better, so he obviously feels the same way about light-skinned women. And you cannot pay me to believe that Manetta didn't know he felt that way before she had his children. I mean, if he said it in front of the entire world on the radio, then he likely said it to her or in front of her at some point during their relationship. And even though he obviously won't commit to his light-skinned preference either, he and men like him most certainly aren't gonna commit 
it to unambiguous black women. And I think if black women stop tolerating colorist black men to begin with, they at the very least can avoid becoming the come up woman and giving children to undeserving men and wasting so much of their time. And this goes without saying that even if you do get with a non-colorist man, he can still be a cheater. We all know that a lot of men, regardless of race, have a hard time staying faithful to one woman. The point is you're taking a bigger risk with a man who doesn't even prefer your type to begin with. So in my opinion, those men should be weeded out in the vetting process and they most certainly shouldn't get access to your womb. I just think that if black women at the very least stop entertaining men who are obviously in that high risk category, we'll be more successful in dating overall. And more importantly, we won't be giving babies to the wrong men. And I'm going to keep reiterating this because it's very important. Black women and especially unambiguous dark skinned black women, it is not wise to have babies with colorist men. And I talk about this so much on my channel because so many black women are like Magneta and they overlook these kind of comments that these men make about light-skinned children, light-skinned women, and later on they're getting left for those kind of women. If he's indicating to you in some capacity that you're not his true preference or you can't give him the quote unquote pretty light skin kids that he wants, then there's a strong possibility that he's not going to commit to you long term, especially if he has money and he has the ability to attract a lot of women. Colorist remarks coming from black men, in my opinion, is a very easy way to gauge what kind of man you're dealing with because looks are very important to men. Getting with light skinned women is very important to black men. And if he's already not committal and he has money, he's likely going to see if he can attract what he perceives is better than you somewhere during the course of your relationship. And a lot of y'all think I'm extra for this, but this is why I don't tolerate any sort of colorist, texturist, or featurist remarks coming from men. And I suggest other black women do the same because you could be setting yourself up to be a discarded come up woman to a colorist man. If you meet a man one way, he's likely gonna stay that way and you won't be able to change him. So don't ignore the red flags. This is why I will continue to say that vetting men is very important because just imagine if Magneta would have walked away after she learned that Neo was a colorist or at the very least refused to have children with him and just had a little fun until someone better came along. She could have saved herself a lot of heartache, years of heartache. She wouldn't have got her tubes tied. She wouldn't have been trying to force herself to be non-monogamous or polygamous or polyamorous or whatever Neo was trying to be. And she would have probably had kids with a better, more deserving man. But you know, I will give her grace and say that we've all chosen poorly at some point in our lives. And at the very least, Magneta did utilize the connection she got from being partnered with Neo. She opened her options and now she is happily married. And that is one lesson we can take away from this. Magneta didn't close herself off to dating non-black men or men who aren't entertainers. She took advantage of her social network, made alliances, allowed herself to be open to dating someone totally different than the father of her children. And from what we can see on the surface, it appears that she course corrected, came out on top and won. To my understanding, her husband also has children and they have a happy blended family. So all of this talk you hear from the manosphere about how high value men won't choose women with kids, it's not realistic when the men themselves have children. It's not uncommon when people with children from a previous relationship get with other people who have children from a previous relationship. When my mom and my stepfather got married, they both had children. Now, obviously we don't know what kind of relationship Magneta and her husband have. We don't know what kind of man he is or if it will last. People break up, marriages end all the time. So by no means am I saying that it will last forever or that he's perfect because he married her or because he's white. I'm just saying that it appears that she chose much better this time and they have a happy life. Same thing goes for the rapper Eve, but thankfully Eve, she didn't allow one of these black male entertainers to knock her up. She saw the writing on the wall and she got out with no baggage, so good for her. But black women, let this be a lesson to never ignore the red flags. Vet men, and I do mean vet them vigorously. As a black woman, you just can't afford not to. Try your best to avoid getting in these kind of situations with non-committal, serial cheating, 
emotionally abusive men and maybe even physically abusive because word out on the street is that Crystal filed a protective order against Neo, possibly due to him being violent towards her. And look, if you do make a mistake because you're human and you fail to get it right the first time, be like Magneta, be like Eve and take advantage of all the opportunities you have to course correct and choose better the second time. Obviously, depending on your social networks, you won't get as lucky as Eve did or Sierra or Magneta. But the point is, choose better the second time. So that is all I have to say on this topic. Let me know what you think about this video down in the comment section and I'll catch up with you in the next one.